Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kirsty and I make spiritual content over here. Welcome. So for like a while now, this video has been on my mind. You can obviously tell what the video is because you've clicked on it. What is a light worker and what exactly does being a light worker mean? And I feel like spirit have really been like knocking on my <laughs> door like can you talk about this can you talk about this because I feel like now more than ever we need people to awaken to the fact that they are light workers and to do that we need to know what a light worker is um I feel like there's this misconception that to be a light worker you have to have um I guess a spiritual gift in terms of like psychicness or the ability to read and I just want to clear that up it's very much not the case um being a light worker is about working with light and light is love, healing, um, positive vibrations, bringing light into the world and creating a better place for us all. And light workers can be psychics, can be readers, can be people that work in the spiritual realms of things like myself, but light workers can also be masseuse, uh, masseuses, people that do massage, people that um, work in the health and social sectors that care for other people, um, nurses, doctors, people that bring healing to the planet. Anything that raises the vibration, brings light, helps us step out of darkness, helps us heal as a collective. Um, and by the way, when I say as a collective, if you're healing individually, that's also helping the collective. If you're helping one person, that's also helping the collective. When I say the collective, it doesn't have to be that you're healing or helping a hundred people in a room. It can just be that you touch one person because that one person can go into another one person and it's, you know, that light spreading. So a light worker is someone that brings light, okay? Um, like I said, it can come in various uh, different forms. You know, light workers can be healers, they can be readers, they can be masseuses, therapists. Um, so many different walks of life can light workers be. I feel like in the online space, it's very like um, thought of that to be a light worker, you are a tarot reader or you're a psychic um, or you're a Reiki master. And yes, those people are absolutely light workers but that's not the only thing a light worker can be um so i wanted to talk about what a light worker is and how exactly you can tell that you are one so that's what a light worker is a light worker is someone who works with the vibration of love to bring light to the planet and move us out of a dark space we are people that work with light i am a light worker um i am someone who works to heal others through energy intuitive readings i'm also wanting to go on and study to do other things i'd love to become qualified in reiki i've recently very much gotten into eft which is emotional freedom technique um absolutely love that want to get qualified in that as well so i am someone whose passion is to heal and help people i am a light worker um but i also am someone who outside of my work i also pride myself on being quite an optimist and even in my day-to-day -day conversations whether it be with family or friends I really try and bring light to a conversation am I perfect absolutely not do I get sucked into darkness absolutely I do but it is always my intention to come back to light um we all have light and dark in us that is the balance of life um the law of duality but we really want to be in that light you know we can't have darkness without light because they help to help us know what the other is um but right now the world is just completely imbalanced and in a dark place and that's why now more than ever we need light workers we need to know what a light worker is and i feel that's why spirit's really guiding me to to do this video so some signs you might be a light worker. So the very first sign that's just come to me intuitively is that you might be an empath. So you might um, talk to people and they might tell you about what's going on in their life and you might get very emotionally impacted by their story. Whether that be in person or you could watch something on TV and you could get very emotionally connected or affected by someone's story. That is a very clear um, indicator that you care deeply and you want to help people. 
and um, that's what light workers do. Like I said, we want to heal, we want to help, we want to bring light. So if you are someone who is empathic, and I mean that you you don't just take on other people's energy, I mean you feel it and you want to do something about it, it's that wanting to, to heal it that really makes you a light worker. Um, you could definitely be a light worker. If you are empathic and you want to heal and to help, you could definitely be a light worker. If you are someone who finds themselves always looking on the bright side of life, so like no matter what happens, and don't get me wrong, like I said, there are times where we really do get sucked in and I really have been sucked into the darkness a lot of times. But if more so than not, you find yourself leaning to the positive, being optimistic, trying to bring light to a situation, trying to make things better, you are most likely a light worker. If you find yourself being told that you have healing hands, if you touch things and you make things better, so for example, if you're good at massage, if you're good at, um, I don't know, like gardening, cooking, nurturing, creating through your hands. You are most likely a light worker. And when I say creating through your hands, I mean creating something that is for healing. So gardening, for example, is healing the earth, nurturing the earth, cooking is nurturing those who you're going to feed, massage is healing the body. If you're doing something through your hands where you're healing, helping, nurturing, you are most likely a light worker. Um, if you find yourself being someone who wants to take their own experiences of life and what you've been through and use it to help and guide others, you are most likely a light worker. Um, and these are just all things that are now coming to me intuitively. There are so many different avenues and I really do encourage you, if you even have like a, a like an inkling, like I could be a light worker, like I could be a light worker, then I really encourage you to explore what's made you feel that way and how you can apply it and how you can start taking action on it. Because like I said, see the light coming in, the light's just changed. <laughs> we need you. Like the world needs light workers. We have a real place and space in this world. Um, we are the encouragers, we are the nurturers, we are the healers, we are the helpers. We are, what I will say about light workers is you may often find as a light worker that you are the ones that heal the people that need to take action. So you may not necessarily be the person on the front line at a protest. You may not necessarily be the person who takes all the action to make a change. You might be the person who helps the person who does that. That's a real key point of a light worker. We are the people who guide. We, we, we help people guide, be guided on their path, whether that be removing energetical blockages from their bodies, from their minds, from their spirit, whether that be reading their energy to help them move forward. We just help bring light to the situation, to life. We work with light, we bring light. So if there's anything, it's a really short and sweet video, but I feel like Spirit really wanted to open up this conversation because like I said, now more than ever in the dark place that the world is in, we need light workers to bring it back to balance. We need to bring the balance back. We're very imbalanced right now in so many ways. And the thing is, is being imbalanced as a collective causes us to be imbalanced in ourselves. And we're seeing that in like the rise in certain kind of like conditions of the body and things like that so focus on yourself and how you can be a light worker in your own life how can you bring more light to your own life and whether that be optimistic conversations whether that be like being there for a friend whether that be offering a healing or a helping a word or hand if you have an inkling that you are a light worker you most likely are one if you've clicked on this video you most likely are a light worker and all you need to do now is to figure out how to work with your light. Um, that's it, we are people that have light within us. Everyone has light within them. I truly believe that deep down, everyone has the ability to, to bring light to this planet and to make the world a better place. I really do truly believe that. Um, but I feel like we all have gifts that you wanna nurture and a light worker will actually want to nurture that gift. They'll want to nurture their light. So if you click this video, I'm guessing you're someone that wants to nurture being a light worker, so start exploring it. because. 
we need you <laughs> On my channel I want to really start talking about a lot of spiritual topics as well as doing a lot of collective readings um, whether it be moon work whether it be EFT whether it be you know how to be a light worker what to do whether it be like you want to talk about how to get into tarot let me know in the comments because that's really where I'm going with this channel and that's really what I want to do self-care well-being nature all these things so I'm just looking outside because it's really sunny but it's raining at the same time and I absolutely love that um, but I wanted to just open up this conversation. It's not an in-depth video. It's just to be like, if you are a light worker and anything I've said right now has resonated with you, please explore it. Because quite often we can be like, no, I'm not a light worker, I don't read tarot. No, I'm not a light worker, I don't do Reiki. No, I'm not a light worker, that's for that person. No, you very well could be, if the inkling is there and the intuitive nudge is there and the feeling is there, you could be a light worker. It could just be that you want to bring light through healing the body through massage. It could be that you want to be a nurse. It could be that you want to be a doctor. It doesn't have to be within the spiritual realms. It doesn't have to be that. I just want to say that. It's just something that you can work with, a gift that you can work with, and it could be multiple gifts, where you are able to bring light, love, healing, and lift the vibration of the planet, whether that be through lifting the vibration of one person or a collective. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, if you do have any kind of questions, please do leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to chat about it. Let me know if you think you are a light worker, and if you think you are, you most likely are, because that's the intuitive calling within you. And just before I end the video, I'd really like to just pull a card, because I really feel poor to pull a card. So if you've seen this, maybe this is why you've come across this video. Who knows, maybe it is because you're a light worker. Like I said, if you have clicked, you most likely are. But let's just see spirit one card for the people watching this video let's see what spirit want you to know okay when i lead from a place of love people respect me when i lead from a place of love people respect me and you know what like it's not really about respect or gaining respect or gaining power for it from anyone else but leading with love, I feel like is really the way forward. And if we can start to do that individually in our own lives, I know it can be really difficult. I know we can feel challenged by people in our lives or by circumstances. But if we can always choose to come back to love, even if we differ into fear a little bit, even if we can notice that and go, okay, let me just shift back into love. I feel like collectively, individually, and as a planet, we can start moving in a better direction love is the way forward so thank you for being with me today lovelies i do hope you enjoyed this video like i said let me know any questions you might have about being a light worker down below let me know if you feel like you are a light worker and i will see you soon for another video lovelies bye